Hello guys and welcome back to yet another um, part of Let's Play The Sims 4 The Lux Life. This is going to be part number 16. So we are currently as Hank, uh, I think his last name is Sanchez, I think I believe, yeah. Okay, I think, I think and I believe. Um, yeah, so in the previous part, basically, Carrera here was caught kind of flirting very meticulously with all the guys at the bar, which are no longer here, by the way. I don't know where they went. They probably left. And uh, Hank has just kind of had enough with Carrera. He is completely done with her infidelity, her lies, her, you know, just everything, everything that she has been doing to him since the beginning of their relationship. He's just, he feels like he could do and probably deserves a lot better. Um, and I kind of agree with him. Like, you know, he he's a catch. There's a lot of, oh, let me just put that back down there. There's a lot of women out there for him, and it kind of seems like he has a thing for summer holiday anyways, but I'm pretty sure even though he has the greatest relationship with Miss Carrera, um, he'll miss her, he loves her, but he isn't going to be that guy that just stays with somebody who constantly puts him down and, and hurts her all the freaking time. So what we're going to do is just kind of be mean and and break up with her over her infidelity. And she's smiling now, but she's not going to be smiling when Hank finally gets the cojones to tell her, it's over. I'm breaking up with you. Her heart does shatter in a million pieces. And it's really, 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 really heartbreaking and extremely sad that Carrera feels like she has finally kind of hit rock bottom in a sense. And now the relationship is completely the other way around. And believe it or not, according to this... They were soulmates, but yet a ter a terrible match. Like, how is that even... Let me see this. How is that even possible? You can be soulmates with somebody and also be a, a terrible match. I don't know. I don't know how, like, that works. <laughs> you are meant for each other, but yet you're horrible for each other. Well, actually, you know... I kind of I kind of feel it. I kind of get it. I kind of get it. So now with Carrera and her life kind of crumbling upon her... Um, we're going to have her come home probably in shame and being upset and, and hurt and just a whole bunch of crap. You know, I feel really bad for her. I, I do. But at the same time, I kind of feel like she made her bed. She needs to lay in it now. And, and she is. She totally, totally is right now. And um, I think, you know, Hank could have been could have been uh, the one for her. I, I do. And uh, it looks like she kind of came home on her own, which is fun. Fun, 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 fun. I said fun. Um, so she's sad right now because, uh, you know, she has a break of blues. A, a relationship coming to an end is a sad event in any Sims live. And so now her relationship with Hank is quite the opposite. Um, her thing with uh, David is still pretty legit, but, you know, she's really kind of just ruined every good thing that's came her way. And it's, it's unfortunate, but um, you guys got to leave me your thoughts. What do you think? Do you think Hank did the right thing? Would you have done it? If you were Hank, what would you do? Uh, how do you think Carrera should handle the situation? Just let me know. Right now, she's like super freaking depressed. Very, very, very sad. I mean, she has nobody. Nobody to call her own. Oh, and love. She's crying, and her daughter decided to go ahead and snuggle up next to her. Oh, that's so sweet. What is she doing? She's going to go wash her hands? Why is she washing her hands while she's sad? Like, I don't I don't understand what's that going to do. Oh, Faye wants to come down here and chat with her. Oh, okay. Express your pre admiration. That is so sweet. Faye knows that her sister's heart is broken, and she's coming down to make amends with her. And... And try to cheer her up and, and make her realize that, you know, you are loved in, in, in more ways than you'll ever know. And, you know, it's tough for Carrera. Carrera kind of feels like she needs to go and away for a while and start her life over. And um, maybe leave Faye to, Faye to raise in Cora because she feels like she's maybe done. She's maybe done not not so much of a good job. Um. So we're going to do that. I feel like that's the right decision. I feel like, you know, Carrera really needs to go and better herself. She's she's needs to, uh, you know, work on her career, stabilize her life, you know, and who knows, maybe when Carrera or Cora's older, things can change. But for right now, um, I think she's kind of 
hindering Faye in so many ways, and it, and it's rough, you know. So I do feel like we're gonna have Cora kind of or Clara sneak out tonight, you know. Um, we're gonna go and 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 wake up our daughter and say goodbye. Um, I do not want Cora to resent Carrera for her choices and for the things that she's done in her life. And, you know, hopefully she can go make something of herself and, and, and be able to regain um, custody of, of Cora again. So we're going to have them kind of like all come in here and, and sit down and talk about it. Uh, obviously, Carrera is going to take a little bit of the settlement money and we're going to get her a house. I don't know how exactly... That's going to work, but we're going to have her sit together and then we're going to have Faye come over as well and kind of just talk it out and explain to Cora what's happening, which is obviously her mom leaving. Um, and I think she'll be okay with it. I do. I think she'll be, she'll be okay. She's a very strong little girl and I'm sure everything will be fine. You know, and we can have her come visit occasionally. It's just, she really wants Faye to, to take care of her and, um, and raise her in a way, which I think is beautiful. So, all right, everything looks like it's going to be pretty, pretty good. So let's go ahead and give her a kiss her cheek, and um, give her a another hug. Oh, that's so sweet. Oh, what's so sweet and sad at the same damn time? Okay, so let's go ahead and move out, Miss Carrera Berman. Remember, this isn't goodbye. This is just until next time. Uh, we are just going to go to Just Manage World. I don't know how to move somebody into another house. Like, in a sensory where you can just pick a house for them to move into. Like, it's really freaking easy. I don't know how to do that. Like, I don't know if I'm doing it wrong or whatever. Let me see how this works. Transfer Sims. Move Sims into a lot. Uh, transfer Sims between household. It's so, like, I could have a Sim, like, move into a house that Carrera would want. Like, using the free cheat or whatever i'm gonna have her kind of move over to oasis springs new city new life not really sure what kind of house i want her to have uh let's go ahead and have her move into um the dusty turf let's do that we'll have someone move into the dusty turf we'll just pick this dude or whoever let's just go in my gallery and pick some random person Ooh, that's really nice um just some random random person that will fit the bill uh, for now until we can move her out and I don't know why this is like so okay we'll pick my sim to Sylvia all right replace replace and we'll just give her a whole bunch of I don't know simoleons or, or something and then have her move in I don't know okay so we'll do I don't know how that's gonna take away from I don't know how that's going to take away from the funds, though. I don't know. I'm not really too, too worried about it, to be honest. But let's go ahead and pick out a home that we think will be good for Carrera. Something like a condo or whatever. And obviously, Cora can can go visit her mom, you know, for a couple days or stuff like that. You know, kind of get like that partial custody feel going on. Um, and, and spend the night and, and weekends and stuff like that. Still be very much a part of her mother's life. Obviously, right? But at the same time, allowing Carrera to really kind of focus in on herself and being healthy and all of that jazz. So we are going to do the mother load cheat. I think 66 grand is a pretty decent size house, I guess. So let's go ahead and see what we can find on the gallery. Uh, we got to get into build mode, right? Okay. So let's go into build mode and pick out something. Uh, we are going to do household lots, all lots, lots, advanced. Okay, what am I doing with my life? Uh, 30 by 20, got it. Uh, residential, definitely that residential, presidential, Bentley Continental. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And downloads of all time. Uh, I price wise, gotta stay around the four, uh, okay, the 40 to 80 price. Um, let me see what would be good for our neck of the woods um i'm not seeing anything quite yet that i like oh look <laughs> it's felix Silla's house um let me see what else we could make her live in some rocks i don't know i kind of want to do like a condo or something you know what i mean like something very modern almost like a modern loft would that look nice um yeah, it's okay uh, let me see what else do we got going on here. What about this modern home here? I think this is actually pretty decent. So 
and it's it's right within our our budget so we'll do that we'll go ahead and have this be Carrera's new home let's go check it out really quick uh let me see who this was created by by the way because I just like totally don't think I told you guys I think you can see I mean if you're watching the video it's easily you can pause and see where I got it from but um yeah I'm sure okay so here it is uh, we'll go ahead and make this the afternoon so we can see pretty well. I love it. I think it's pretty nice. It's not like the fanciest thing that you ever did see. But, of course, for Carrera, it is something better than nothing. And then here is a room, um, a perfect room, rather, for if, you know, we had Cora come and stay with her mom. This would be, like, the perfect little room to do so. Alrighty, righty. We just got to kind of change everything to some, like, a more girlier theme, I guess. Okay, I think that's pretty good. And this car, is, can we make it like pink or something? Okay, so there we go. Uh, I like it. I think it'll be pretty nice. There's even like a little playpen and stuff back here for Cora. Just a whole bunch of stuff. You know, um, Cora does like to paint, so it's perfect. Okay, so now the next thing that we need to do is go back into edit or manage worlds, rather. I can't believe we're actually moving her out. Oh, my God. So sad. It makes me, it makes me like my heart break a little bit, but... Oh, we got to do what we got to do, right? We definitely got to do, <laughs> look how cute she is. We got to do what we got to do for the best of, of Cora. Uh, okay, so let me just move her. We, we've got to get the right sim here. Uh, unplayed, played Willow Creek. No. Oasis Springs. Yes. Perfect. Good deal. Okay, so then the next thing that you do is you go over here and you edit the sims. And you delete the snitch that you don't need. Right. So simple. And now look, you got a one single household that is how you move even though it's not that realistic it works um so there she goes she gets like four thousand dollars left she's broke but in a way that's okay because we should be keeping the money anyway because we are the ones that are obviously raising her child so all right let's go back to the wonderful abode of um you know lux life hard life depressed life that stank life i don't know whatever Whole bunch of different types of lives we got going on. That single ant life, yes. All right, so let's everybody let's let's everybody get tipsy. Uh, let's have everyone kind of go to sleep now. Um, you know, Cora seems to be pretty pretty resilient in the fact that she doesn't seem that upset. She's gonna probably go sleep in her mom's bed. I wouldn't doubt it. Um, we'll have her go ahead and, and sleep and stuff like that. I think Faye is gonna go to work in the mañana. Um, so. I think Cora will be also going to school here in just a split second. She has got to go pee-pees and get her butt ready. Yep, she starts school in three hours. They start to work in three days. What are we going to do for three days? I don't know. We can still visit Carrera. We probably will visit her new house and, and go see her and stuff. But why are you eating, boo-boo? And when you've got to, like, go potty, like, severely. Uh, we are not waiting 49 days for her to age. Kind of whenever we get to that point where we feel like it's time for her to age is when we will. Uh, she wants to be funny with Faye. So I can't even really believe that Faye is going to be basically mothering this child. And I think she, I mean, it's kind of something you guys have been suggesting for uh, a while now, actually. Jeez, like a, a real while, like a long while. Um, so it's not really any of a, a surprise, but um, yeah. We'll see how it all pans out. All right, little Miss Cora, gonna go potty, gonna go tinkle. All right, so she starts freaking school in an hour. I don't even think she's done any of her homework, so let's have her go ahead and uh, kind of work on that really, really fast here at her little table. How cute. She did not sleep in her room at all last night, but that's okay. I'm not really I'm gonna like press upon it. She wants to take a vacation day. Well, you're kind of taking a vacation day by not going into work at least that's my personal two cents i mean you have three days off why would you want that uh we are going to send cora alone to school today just because we do not have um a school in the lux life yet to um put in but we will definitely uh in future for future parts like maybe the next part i'll grab like an elementary and then we can go to school with her and see kind of what that looks like um because i know you guys have wanted me to use the mod in game and i totally do as well so i wanted to get um I don't know what I wanted to get. I really need Faye to, like, continue to, like, bust her butt and, and work really, really hard. So she's actually earned $11,000 um, in her entire lifetime. I want to leave the lights on during the day because it is so hard to see. So hard to see. I don't know why she's kind of, like, depressed a little bit, I guess. All right. So let me go and 
I mean, we could make things a little official with Zane if we really wanted to, like, move him in and, you know, like, I don't really think there was anybody else that we were interested in. So let's go ahead and invite him over because Cora is going to be going to school and she should be actually going right now because she's late. She was supposed to start school at 8 o'clock. Holy crap, I didn't even realize she was an hour late. So far, Faye's doing absolutely amazing with the whole um, ordeal, I guess you could say. Uh, the whole situation of being a mom. But here he is. Let's go ahead and um, give him... Actually, no. Um, we could just invite him in for now. Or we could even ask him to move in. But I don't want to live in this house, like, forever. You know what I mean? Like, I don't know. I feel like I want to move. I feel like we've been here for so... What am I doing? Seriously? What am I doing? Um, it'd be nice to get, like, a more authentic house. Because I feel like we're... I mean, we're still always going to be that Lux life. Because, gosh, we are loaded. But we are also... You know, I don't know. I don't know. I kind of want to come up with another challenge for you guys. And it would be building a kind of girly house, but maybe a different version. I don't know. I don't know if I want to do the whole girly house in the next house. I don't know yet. I might just stay living here. Who knows? I don't know. I'm so indecisive. Okay. So what I want to do is I'm um, going actually obviously repair this freaking toilet bowl uh, that we've got going on here. And I do feel like Zane would want to move in with us. And I totally think that would be pretty cool, too. Uh, and since Carrera did move out, I don't see why not. So I think Faye is kind of ready to take the next step with Mr. With Mr. Zane here. Um, and kind of just see how that goes, maybe. I mean, moving in is such a big decision. And at the same time, she kind of knows Hank is hurting and I think she has a soft spot for Hank but for now she'll she'll agree and we're gonna sell all of his furnishings and stuff too so maybe we'll get a little bit of money and then that way the girls can have the room upstairs and Cora will have someone to play with and things I don't know I don't know I feel like this decision's a little not underthought of I guess but I'm going to go with it for now and kind of see where it pans out uh Hank is just in very or Hank Oh gosh, I have Hank on my mind. Uh, Zane, or wait, wait, Zane? Is his name Zane too? Yes. Am I, am I correct? Zane? Oh my god, girl, you need to go to school. Go, Caitlin! When does Caitlin even age? She actually ages up in seven days too. So we'll leave her a kid for a while until, uh, you know, until we need her to kind of age. I'll probably age her in seven days as well as Carrera, Cor Cor Cora, Cora, yeah. Um, something of the same stature. He has no damn job. So what I want him to do is I kind of want him to become a... I don't know if I want him to become a scientist, but we haven't done the scientist career. And I don't know what he likes to do. So I'm going to make... I'm going to change his aspiration into something with knowledge, maybe. Because, he, you know, learning to be a little more intelligent and smart and, you know, whatever else. So let's see if he has any uh, extra relations. No, he does not. But he does not like Noel one bit. One bit at all. He kind of likes Micah, though. A little bit. Like, very little. Um, yeah, I think maybe we can make him a, a scientist. But that's like a back to back to work or get to work thing. So what else could we make him do? I don't know yet. I don't know. Why isn't she going to school? I don't understand. Where are you going? You're not. You're going to school the long damn way, girl. Okay, there she goes. Finally. She's pretty much over with school. And I don't understand her situation. But I kind of want to go change up Zane's outfit. I hope his name's Zane. Because I'm like calling him that the whole entire. Yeah, his name's Zane. It's just spelled differently. Uh, we're going to go and plan a couple outfits really quick. We're going to plan. Uh, I, I need Faye to get like a new look. For real. And as well as. um, As well as Zane here. Because he's just been kind of wearing the same like redundant clothing. Time after time. Even though he looks pretty damn fly. Oh, baby. The things you do to me, uh, 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 they are even legal. Okay. All right. So he's kind of like a more rugged man, I would assume. Yeah, looks pretty damn good, boo-boo. I don't know about you, but about these high waters. I like them. I like that. Do it again. Make that booty pop for the Ying Ying twins. No? Okay. He looks like a, he looks like a sandal kind of guy, but I like these two. He's looks cute. Yes. 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 Really, yes. Big fat yes. Uh, let's give him some damn socks. There we go. Those socks? Nah. Let's do some duck socks. No. Don't like those socks. What about these socks? These socks look good. All right. So what is he wearing for all of his other outfits? Pretty much nothing. High five. We likey likey. Oh, and he's insane. <laughs> so he's muy loco. That's just perfect. Was he intentionally insane? 
Or did I make him insane? Can I change this? I can change this. <gasps> oh my god. Well, you know what? The insanity thing? That might work. That might be why his wife left him. Never would have known it. Never would have sunk. But hey, <laughs> does Faye look like a punk? Actually, I didn't even... Speaking of Faye, I forgot to totally change the damn outfit. What is life at this point? What do we need him to do? I kind of want him to be a scientist. Like, I kind of do. Um, just because I feel like that would be, like, a lot of freaking fun. But I don't know what else. But for now, I want him, I don't know. I, I don't know, because we've got kind of one thing going on here. Maybe he can, like, I don't know what he can do. Do you guys have ideas for what Zane can do with his life? Because I really don't know. Like, she should, he should be the doctor. She should be a stay-at-home mom or whatever. But he needs to make some sort of money because, like, truly, we don't have, like, we're going to run out at some point. You know what I mean? Um... What is he going to go do? He's going to go play. Or I was going to say he's going to go put away. All right. So she's cleaning out some spoiler food. So it looks like they're just cleaning the house right now. I was going to say he's going to go play with the dolls. That is when you know your boo-boo is officially crazy. When your man is playing with dolls and stuff. But I think Faye does want to go make sure Hank's okay. Because, you know, obviously she knows that he broke up with. Um, oh, we can research. Oh, let's research health reports. She knows that he broke up with Carrera. So that's kind of a, a little bit of a. A bums a doodle. Why are you seriously go do something with your life? I am trying to work right now. Thank you. Like really? She's super focused. She wants to observe the skies with a telescope. I want you to actually go and uh, buy some lotto tickets. Like I'm really hoping at some point we'll win the freaking lottery. I know it's just such a far cry, but I think we will. Okay, let's do random. Okay, fine. I'll do one this time where I actually pick the damn numbers. First number is going to be six. Second number is going to be three. We're going to do eight, 13, 15, no, 14, 14. So we got one, two, three, four, five. We got one more. Uh, let's do 20. Screw it. Let's see what that yielded us. Ah, uh, I got one. One damn number. That's nothing. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you going so fast? No, go pick 60. You're doing it again. Pick six. Let's go. I'm serious. I need you to win. This is no joke. Okay? This is real freaking life we're talking about here. All right. Let's just have her do a couple more. Oh, we won 260 bucks. Woohoo! Uh, okay. Still feeling the effects of the last research attempt? What are your effects? Research health info. Faye has renewed focus on her career after re... Oh, okay. So it actually makes it pretty damn... Uh, pretty damn motivated. She also wants to take a vacation day. We already know this. Um, okay, so Hank, I'm actually going to just send him a text and, and chat with him and make sure he's good. Uh, once the girls get home, we will go ahead and um, bring everybody over to Carrera's new humble abode. Actually, I think Carrera gets off. Uh, actually, I can find out too. She gets off at five, so that probably won't happen. Oh, she's a writer now? I, was she always a writer? I don't remember. She was always a writer. I can't really remember. We need to like do some sort of like party celebration or something maybe at our house like a welcome home party at Carrera's house I think just for a little bit I'm actually gonna have Faye go do a little fishing I know it's so random but just like get her to kind of do something a little bit different so here is our girl our new girl to the humble abode her name is Caitlin and she is so flippin and gorgeous uh what is she wearing is this her clothes yeah no it's just totally her clothes all right let's get the girls to do their damn homework that's like the first thing that they should be doing i think anyways all right let's have her go do her homework oh she's just doing her homework here well, cora come out here with her and do it because that is so sad that you're just kind of leaving her where's our house where do we live why is this so far away like i think she like likes this house over here or something i don't oh uh, we're right over there so i think we're gonna come and find her and go and, and go spend a little bit of time with her i feel like we're raising these these girls together in a way and that's really 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 sweet by the time we get there though her homework will be done <laughs> i can almost guarantee it let's have her do yep no did she finish it no she didn't but look at the girls oh they're doing their homework together how sweet they are going to be best freaking friends when they're older i can already taste it or see it same thing um <laughs> well no not really but close enough right close enough uh, let me see. What is she doing? Oh, wow. She actually caught a pretty nice size minnow, I think. I don't know. Was it a minnow? Let's go check. Um, we've got a couple shot thingies. 
No, it was a minnow. And then we've got uh, Zane over here watching some damn uh, television. We need to get in an extra bed, though, for uh, the little girl, for, for Caitlin. I don't know where we're going to put her bed. Because, I mean, if you noticed, we've got tight spot here. Um, I kind of want to put it, like, over here, maybe. Like, I don't know if it would fit over here, per se, but... Uh, we are going to figure it out. Okay, toy box there, backpack there, and then bed there. So, I mean, I like it. It definitely looks cramped, no doubt about it, but I definitely feel like it looks pretty nice. I love this room. It's so pretty. Okay, so there's Kate's, and she's going to go in and chat with Carrera a little bit. We do need to kind of get the girls some toys, I mean, for the backyard or something, you know, because I don't feel like there's anywhere that they can go to the park around here. Uh, there's a lot of different stuff, but I'm not seeing, like, an actual area where the girls can go to the park. I wish there was, like, picnicking things that you could do because there's so many beautiful places of land. And I really just don't see any sort of picnicking sort of deals going on. You know what I mean? For, like, in terms of, like, any, like picnicking, more outdoorsy stuff. Like, they should have did that with, uh, whatchamacallit, um, out get outdoors or get outdoors outdoor retreat there we go whatever same ish yeah they should have done something like that i think i don't know i was kind of brain farting there for a second thinking and also talking at the same time when you think and talk at the same time it's always going to be a bad time all right guys i'm actually going to go ahead and wrap up this part right here i was going to go and um, add in a couple things but that will just give me something to do in the next part so i hope you all enjoyed don't forget to go ahead and let me know what you guys think in the comments down below where the sun does not shine valentine and i will see you all next time. <laughs> Bye guys.